Well, uh, we started off in Boston. My mother and I traveled there, and I was actually in these big wrist splints because I just shattered both my wrists, and it was uh, it was kind of a struggle getting there. But once we did, um, I made it through Boston. I actually got four yeses. I thought I was going to get four noes, so that was a surprise. And then I had a few callbacks, and then from there um, I went to L.A. for Hollywood Week. And I somehow I got through all those rounds, and then I went live for the top 24 um, about a month later, and then I got cut. Now, overall, though, tell me how you, you felt your experience was. Um, Idol was the time of my life, honestly. It was it was a great experience. I mean, I really wish it could have lasted a little bit longer, but it gave me a really excellent platform to really push our band, uh, Wailing Waters. And we're going to really try and get that movie now. Uh, overall, though, you've uh, mentioned that um, the judges were kind of flip-flopped on you. They didn't give you really, uh, you know, they said yay, they said no, then they criticized you on one side, then they praised you on the same thing. Uh, you know, how, how do you feel about all of that? I mean, was that your, your the biggest downfall, I guess, to all of this? Well, I do feel like the judges changed their mind and, and uh, turned on me after after the first live show. I mean, if you watch the footage of the last day of Hollywood Week where they put me into the top 24, Kara saying that she wants to see more of my moves and Planet Tyler and all that, and then after the first live performance, uh, she kind of just completely turned on me and said that I have this weird obsession with Jim Morrison and, and all these things. So, I mean, you can't, what can you do? Overall, though, uh, do you think it's a fair judging or is it very opinionated on uh, you know, as far as how they feel or, or anything like that? Um, well, the, the problem I had with it was that they, they weren't really commenting so much on me vocally, but they were commenting on my style and my stage persona, which they had originally liked. So I, I didn't think that it, was, it really added up. It wasn't, it wasn't too objective for me. Uh, overall, though, you mentioned your band, though. Does, does this help you move to the next step? I mean, are you hoping it helps you move to the next step? Absolutely. I really I really am hoping that I can convert all the, the fans and the viewers from the show that enjoyed me being on the show to Wailing Waters fans, and that we can really get a solid fan base going. And you have some upcoming dates of stuff going on? Well, the only date we have scheduled as of now is uh, the Riverside Bar and Grill in Easton on March 26th, and that's actually going to be an all-ages show. I mean, usually bars are you know 21 and over, but we're we're going to have a, a section roped off where there can there's no alcohol and we can have any any age come in. Overall, an enjoyable experience or 50/50 on it or? No, Idol was really the time of my life. I mean, I had a great time out there and met some awesome people, some great talent. And I guess what do you say to the media? I mean, they've hyped you up as kind of being the you know at times the you. you you're the whiner about the judges at the other time, you know. Um, what do you say to, to them out there? Well, uh, the media has called me bitter at the judges and, you know, said that I've stormed off angry and left the show, and it is uh, it is what it is, but I, I just thought that I gave a pretty objective, non-emotional response to the judges. I just felt like I, I did need to get my thoughts out there. I mean, Ryan asked me, what do you think? And then I, I said what I thought, so... I would have regretted it if I wouldn't have said that. Overall, how do you think uh, the area has uh, uh, taken the fact that um, Lehigh Valley has a uh, uh, someone who's been on the Idol show? Oh, the Lehigh Valley has been very supportive, and we're just hoping to get a lot of gigs out here to, to really communicate with the fans and, and get a, a solid following here. Uh, if My last question. If you were to... Say you ha you followed a certain persona or, or you have a certain persona. What would it be about you that you think stands out amongst others? Um, and I, I've had this question before, and I, I do feel like it's it's just kind of a thing where when I'm on stage, I, I try to be as honest as possible and, and really live in the song and and feel it and move with my feelings in the song. And I, I feel like a lot of singers don't really do that. So I, I would say that that sets me apart. Okay. Hold on one quick second.